All right, so let's take a look here at um, just some different ways in which we can spruce up our, our website and our pages. And so if we start up here with our header of our website here, when I put my mouse cursor over, you can see that up here in the upper left where I have the name of the website here, I could add a logo, whether you have one that's created for you. Your district might already have this already preloaded, and so if that's the case, then you're, you're good to go. Um, no problem there, but I could um, upload an image here. Let's see what if I have one here. Maybe I can just toss it. Let's just see if this will work here. Um, and what it's going to do is it will put a little logo up there for your brand image um, as we we rock and roll there. So you can see now I've got a little logo in the upper right hand left hand corner. Excuse me. I could also change the background here of our header. So you're going to notice before I get to the image, there's different types of header types. If I click this, I could have one where it's just a, a full cover, much larger. If I had a big graphic, that's all I want to have on there. I could do a large banner, which is this one here, um, a regular banner. This is the default setting. And then there's title only, where it's just only words, no image. Now, keep in mind, you have to have a word in here, um, so you can't have it blank with just an image. You have to, have to at least put a period or something with, within there. Um, but if we were to go here, and I've got it set this way, we can go here to change image. And a couple things. I could upload my own if I've created one, and we'll have some future videos on how to do that, the Google Drawing and Adobe Spark and things like that. But I could go here um, to select image. They have some preset ones that you could use. You could search by URL, um, your drive, your albums, just wherever you have have images, and then it'll scale it. So if I pick this outer space one here, um, you can kind of see what this will look like. And what it'll do, you see here that it's adjusting for readability. So it'll adjust the background, make it darker, whatever, so your words pop um, a little larger. So you can see that that's been done there. Now, in the new Google Sites, you can't actually have a full image of the background. But what I can do is I could go in here in these individual text boxes in these layouts. And if I go to the little paint, I can go to the section background where I had the emphasis, where, I, where they would make this one blue. I could also, oops, I could also add images to the backdrop as well. So, um, let me, I don't want to upload that. Let me go just do that space one again. So if I go to image and I select image, um, I could do this water one here just so you can kind of see it. And it will then adjust that. You can see now my writing's here and the image has been stretched in and resized for that backdrop. So you could do the emphasis of colors and you could also do images. Same thing works for any of these boxes with the plus. I could always pick from my own drive. I could also upload from there things like that as well. Now the last thing that I want to show you in this little section and then let you have some time playing around with your main page here is I could go here to themes and what the Google Sites has is a variety of themes of how the this, this site will lay out. So we are in simple but I could go here to Aristotle and it's just going to look different. It's going to have different fonts. Um, different views it just kind of has a, a different flow to it and I could go in here and I could change the the color scheme of the site itself um, I could go in here and pick my own custom color I could also adjust the font as well so this is kind of gives you a little spruce and this will keep consistency then throughout your whole website every page will have this theme so keep in mind as you start to add more to your website and you decide to change your theme it does impact your layouts that you install and, and go through. So you could have a couple little snags if you keep adjusting these. So I would recommend playing around with this here while you've got one or two pages and then stick with it um, for the time being and not getting too crazy with changing it all the time. So those are just some ways in which you can take a look at adding backdrops, adjusting the header to different types, uh, adding images, and taking a look at your themes. And at any point in time, you can always hit the reset and it would take it all the way back to square one for that, that particular section. So what I want you to do now on your main page here, well, we only have one page at this point, is to 
get it looking the way you want. So get the rest of that in there, get the, the themes, the colors, the fonts, um, all that stuff ready to rock and roll because the next step we're going to start adding pages, reordering pages, and, and starting to build this site out a little bit more. So hope you found this helpful. And as always, my friends, stay awesome. Peace.